Have you ever wondered how a shiny black stone, often carved into jewelry or tools, can form in just seconds, right after a volcanic eruption? That stone is obsidian, nature's own volcanic glass, and its origin story is as dramatic as the eruptions that create it. In this video, we're diving deep into how this remarkable rock is born, why it forms so quickly, and why humans have been fascinated by it for thousands of years, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand how obsidian is made, we need to start inside Earth's crust, where temperatures soar high enough to melt solid rock. Beneath volcanoes, molten rock known as magma churns and bubbles. This magma contains silicate minerals, elements like silicon and oxygen, that are the building blocks of obsidian. When a volcano erupts, that molten rock is expelled to the surface. But here's the twist. What emerges isn't called magma anymore. Once it reaches the open air, it's lava, glowing orange-red and impossibly hot, often above 1,000 degrees Celsius. Now, not all lava will become obsidian. The secret lies in its chemistry and how fast it cools. Lava that forms obsidian is especially rich in silica, making it thicker and stickier than the more fluid types of lava you might see flowing like rivers in Hawaii. This silica-rich lava doesn't flow as far or as fast, but when it suddenly cools, something extraordinary happens. Obsidian's transformation is almost instantaneous. As soon as this lava comes into contact with much cooler air, water, or even snow, the heat dissipates in seconds. Normally, when molten rock cools, it has time to form crystals, the orderly repeating patterns that give most rocks their structure. But obsidian doesn't get that luxury. It cools so quickly that crystals can't form at all. Instead, the molten material freezes into a solid mass of natural glass. That's why obsidian is smooth and shiny, often jet black, and why it lacks the grainy texture of other volcanic rocks. You're essentially looking at frozen lava that skipped the entire crystal forming process. Most people recognize obsidian by its deep black hue, but did you know it can come in other colors? The black color usually comes from tiny amounts of iron and magnesium trapped inside. But depending on the impurities or gas bubbles present during formation, obsidian can also appear brown, green, or even have a golden or rainbow sheen. Rainbow obsidian, for example, forms when tiny bubbles of different sizes are layered inside the glass, scattering light into iridescent colors. Mahogany obsidian, on the other hand, gets its reddish-brown streaks from iron oxide. These variations make obsidian not only scientifically fascinating, but also incredibly beautiful. One curious fact about obsidian is that Geologically speaking, it's unstable. Over thousands of years, the glassy structure begins to slowly crystallize. If you were to visit an ancient lava flow millions of years old, you might not find obsidian at all. It would have transformed into another rock entirely. Obsidian isn't just a geological marvel. It's also one of humanity's earliest high-tech materials. Long before metalworking, ancient people discovered that obsidian could be chipped into edges sharper than steel. When fractured, it breaks along smooth, curved surfaces called conchoidal fractures, creating razor-sharp blades. Archaeologists have found obsidian tools dating back tens of thousands of years. 
arrowheads, knives, and scrapers used for hunting and food preparation. Civilizations like the Maya and Aztecs even crafted ceremonial weapons and mirrors from obsidian, associating it with mystical properties and the underworld. Even today, obsidian blades are sometimes used in delicate surgeries, like eye or brain operations. Their edges can be just a few nanometers thick, far sharper than the finest steel scalpel, cutting with incredible precision. Not every volcano produces obsidian. You'll typically find it in regions with rhyolitic or dacitic lava, lava that's high in silica. Some famous obsidian deposits include Yellowstone in the United States, the volcanic fields of Mexico, the Mediterranean islands like Lipari, and parts of Iceland and Japan. Hiking in these areas, you might spot shiny black rocks scattered across old lava flows. But be careful. Those sharp edges can cut skin easily. And in many places, collecting obsidian is regulated to protect both the landscape and cultural heritage sites. A method called obsidian hydration dating measures the thin water layer obsidian absorbs over time, helping archaeologists estimate when tools or artifacts were made. Artists also prize obsidian for its mirror-like polish and striking color variations, making it a favorite for decorative pieces. Obsidian's story is a reminder of the delicate balance between destruction and creation. A volcanic eruption may seem purely destructive, but in its fiery chaos, it also gives birth to something strikingly beautiful and profoundly useful. So, the next time you see obsidian, in a museum, on a hike, or maybe even as part of jewelry, you'll know you're looking at frozen fire, a piece of Earth's explosive history captured forever in glass. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.